The Model 3 is gonna add about 40% to the US EV market in 2017 alone. Now sales are going pretty well so far in the EV world here in the United States. So far, just after one quarter, we've seen about a 47% bump in overall sales. This is even with the big push that Tesla had towards the end of last year and some of the things that they did to try to push people to buy earlier. If you watched my video about my Tesla Model 3 prediction, then you already know I'm estimating at about 83,000 total sales for the Tesla Model 3 this year. And if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll put a card up there and the link is in the description down below as well. So for 2017, I was already projecting about a 30% bump over 2016, which is projecting out without any consideration for the Model 3 using historical averages and some forecasting models that I built. But now adding in these 83,000 sales, I'm estimating that we're going to see an overall 82% jump in sales in the US EV market in 2017 over 2016. That is a tremendous amount. And for a country that buys a lot of cars, this is really gonna add up and help us push closer towards that sustainable form of transportation that we all want to see. So my estimate for the Tesla Model 3 this year is a bit more conservative than what they put out. They were saying that they should get to 5,000 cars and sometime in September. I'm estimating it'll be somewhere in late October. It's because they need to install all the equipment at the Gigafactory so that they can automate these production lines. There's already been information out there showing that these lines are currently manual. And so with that, it takes a lot of money and a lot of time. So without all the parts in place, I just don't think they're gonna get there that early. So I'm a little bit more conservative and you can judge me on that and you know leave your comments and feedback down below. It's fine with me. This is all pretty fun just to estimate these things and look and see what's gonna happen. But assuming that they do hit it sometime in late October, I'm estimating that they'll top out around 6,000 towards the end of the year. Now, I do believe that they're gonna to have to do some serious improvements to the Fremont factory to hit that 10,000 mark in 2018, or they're gonna to have to open a new factory. They've talked about this, and Elon has even said that the Fremont factory is currently bursting at the seams. So what does that mean? That means they're gonna need more places to build cars. Right now, there's only one plant in the entire world. Even though they're shipping out some of the things to the Gigafactory, it really isn't enough if they want to hit this mass market audience and they're just getting started here in 2017. So again, this is just an estimate, but I am using the log growth curve that Elon has said we'll, we'll see once they actually start ramping up production. And I'm trying to be conservative on that. And so I think this is a, a fairly good estimate or a reasonable one. If they do hit this number, it may fall short of what they wanted to hit, but overall, I think it's gonna be a tremendous number for them and for the EV market. So adding in these 83,000 Model 3s to the sales that are already gonna happen this year in the EV market, we're looking at just over 286,000 sales before January 1st of 2018. Now again, this is still a small fraction of the overall sales in the US, but it's growing and Tesla is really pushing it forward. And even if they're not totally successful with this, even if they don't hit the number I'm putting out there or other people are putting out, um, they're still gonna actually have a great year. So I think um, all signs so far are looking very good for Tesla and the Model 3. And it's really gonna hopefully get us towards that point of where it becomes more mainstream for people to consider an EV now that it's in their price point. So what do you think? I'm curious, are you a reservation holder? Are you gonna wait until all the options that you're looking for are available or are you just gonna get it right away? Do you think Tesla will be able to pull this off? And do you think I'm being totally crazy by underestimating them? Or do you think uh, that I'm totally overestimating them? I'd love to have a discussion with you about this. And you can find all the links to the data that you've seen in this episode and everything else down in the description below. And if you're not on our email list already, make sure to go to teslanomics.co and sign up. Then all these things will come direct to your inbox. You don't have to worry about dealing with YouTube and all that. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you back here next time.